Hey guys, it's Jen. I wanted to give you a little update on our garden because I'm starting to pull stuff out that I know won't live through the summer since we won't be here this summer. Um, so I wanted to videotape it before I take everything out that we have growing right now. But it is May 5th and this is what we have. So this is our newest garden on the side yard and we do not have a sprinkler system or watering system here yet, which Jeremy still has to put in before we leave. I'm not really sure what he'll put in, but hopefully something that will work well. But I originally had planted like a bunch of herbs in these little squares around the garden and a, a cat dug it up or something. So there is nothing left but these watermelon sprouts here. And I'm sure I'll take out all of them but one and I'm hoping that I can get it to grow vertically on this um, little trellis that we have here. So, okay, so these poles here, these are all beans. These ones here, if I'm pronouncing it correctly, I believe is tapiary beans, and they're actually pole beans. And you can see that they're starting to like wrap around the poles. Um, so I have two rows of those, and then these other ones are just green beans. Um, they don't need the poles, so I'll probably take those out. Um, let's see what else I have. There's one tomato plant right here left in. I took the other one out and put it in a bigger pot. And to be real honest, I can't remember what these are. I don't know if they're eggplant or not, but I think that's what they are. On the back there, I have cucumbers. I have kale growing and Swiss chard, which is doing really good, which those will probably be taken out. I don't think they'll live through the summer. Then along the back, there's a combination of squash, zucchini, and I think a couple different types of squash. Um, what else? These are our sunflowers. They are super tall. They're probably, I don't know, three feet tall, I'm guessing about. And they're still doing really good. This one here actually is um, starting to get its little flower on the top. But these are the mammoth sunflowers. So I will, I haven't researched it yet, but I'm planning on using the seeds, drying them, and then eating them. Um, okay, what else? I did plant a couple rows of corn, which that those didn't do very well. So those will probably not make it, but I'm just, all this is always an experiment for me. So I just kind of leave it in and see what it does. There are a couple more watermelons back there. They're not doing a whole lot. And then these three here are pumpkins. I think there's a couple different types and I want to put another little trellis in between and try and get those to grow vertically as well. So there is our newest garden. Okay, then I'll bring you over here. I've taken out mostly everything in here. There's some red lettuce left, which I am feeding to the worms in our worm composter. I don't know if I've shown this recently. I just added a bunch of fruit in there. But um, there's that. We cut a bunch of our green onions, but you can see they're starting to come back again. I have some dill left there. And some cantaloupe and basil. We'll see what that does. That looks like a random uh, tomato there. I don't know. There's a couple little rosemary sprouts and a cabbage. I have a bunch of parsley back here. And that's pretty much it for this garden. All these calla lilies here will die. So I will probably take those out before we leave as well. Okay, then I'll bring you over here. Oh, I did want to show you this, which is really cool. This it's a bird's nest and it fell out of our tree. It's been super windy and it fell out. Unfortunately, there were three eggs in there and they did not make it, but this is a really cool nest. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I'm planning on keeping it and doing something with it. Haven't decided what yet, but I thought it was really cool. All right, um, but there's a bunch of radishes in there. Uh, they're not really doing a whole lot. This is a cabbage and um okay then this is our calendula plant and it doesn't look like it's doing too well but it still keeps producing flowers and i uh cut these off and dry them and then i'll use them in like hand salve or lip balm then this plant here is having some issues probably from the wind these are our um, snow peas and there's still quite a few of them on here and they're really good but so I think I need to tie that back up because it kind of fell over and then I just recently planted 
um, watermelon seeds in here. I'm assuming that's the same thing. I don't know. There's a couple more cabbages. They're not doing as well as the other one. And I believe these are watermelon too. They could be cantaloupe though. I'm not sure. I kind of planted them and then I didn't write it down. So we'll see when we get back. Hopefully we'll have some watermelon and cantaloupe. There's a couple of onions and then I planted a few sunflowers back there, but I don't know. They're kind of, they're kind of like leaning over. So who knows if those will do well or not. Okay, I'll show you one more garden. Okay, this is the last little garden I'll show you. And this was our herb garden, but now there's like other stuff in here too. So I'll try and show you. I planted a bunch of basil down there and that's coming up. Um, there's some lettuce in there, which probably won't make it through the summer, but thought I would try. There's some more snow peas and our pepper plants. I if I could get this in here. And there's quite a few peppers on here already. Pretty good size. And then there's a banana pepper plant down here. There's one on there. Um, our actual first basil plant. It's doing a lot better than it was. Rosemary. And that's pretty much all that's in there. And then I've been harvesting all of our garlic. So here's a bunch of it. Um, or an okay size. I pr they probably could have gotten bigger if I left them in, but I just wanted to take them out and dry them out before we left so we could maybe take some with us, but some of them are pretty good. So that's our garden in May, and hopefully when we get back in the end of July, there'll be some, um, I don't know, watermelons, cantaloupe, maybe some squash, zucchini. We'll see. All right, thanks for watching, guys.